From the returned hub, carefully remove the circlip holding the bearing together in the bore, taking appropriate precaution that the circlip does not fly out. Turn the hub to a vertical position and using an appropriate punch and small hammer, knock out the individual inner race and seal assemblies. Next, take the hub to a suitable press so that both outer races can be removed. The old bearing and seal components should then be consigned to scrap. Ensure correct safety procedures are implemented while using the press. Open the Timkin box containing the new bearing and ensure correct components are contained in the box. Ensure that the hub to be used is clean and free from dirt and debris. Check also for damage to shoulders and bores which could need repairing. Ensure the press is free from contaminants so that cross-contamination does not occur during the assembly process. Make sure components are fitted squarely into the hub during the pressing operation. Ensure the components are seated correctly. This can be indicated by the increase in pressure on the press gauge or by using a 0.050 mm feeler gauge between the bearing back face and the hub shoulder. When the inner bearing is assembled correctly, turn the hub over on the press and repeat the steps for assembling the outer bearing. Check bearing is correctly seated. Using the fitting tools supplied in the box, ensure that the seals are carefully pressed into position and that they are assembled the correct way round. When the two sides of the bearing and seals are fitted into the hub, ensure that the outer race front faces are abutted together and while supporting the bottom bearing, carefully assemble the circlip into the bore of the hub until it clicks into place. Ensure it is correctly located into the grooves. The hub is now ready for return into service.